Hello, welcome to Twins Build. Today we are going to be working on our 1973 Land Rover. We have a broken spring, so we're going to be switching it out with these parabolic springs. Thanks. One thing parabolic springs help is ground clearance. Up at the front bumper, we're about 18, 19, maybe 18 and a half. In the middle, we're at about 16 and a half. And then the rear, we're at about 20 and a half. We have the measurements before we put in the parabolic springs, but, and we're going to measure it after. Here you can see our broken rear leaf spring. First, what we're going to do is jack the vehicle up, but you want to make sure that you have a block in front of your wheels so it doesn't roll forward. Now that we got the vehicle blocked, we have to, we're going to jack it. Now that we have it supported on jack stands, we're going to take the wheel off. Now that we have the tire off, you can really see the broken leaf spring. We soaked the spring hanger, so now we're going to take the spring hanger bolt out. Next, we're going to disconnect the shocks. The leaf springs out, but I'll show you where it attaches to the front of the vehicle. This is the old spring beside the new spring. You can see why we needed a repair. Now we're going to reassemble. We're going to put the front up on first. We have the front in, so we have to use the back of the shackles. We, since they're threaded, we're going to have to do the top and the bottom together. While it's out of the vehicle, I want to show you how the shackle works. You put it through the new bushing, and you twist it on. Once the shackles are on, you take, put the locking nut on um, to keep it safe, and you do the exact same thing on the top. We have the front and rear bolts in, but now we have to attach the U-bolts to the axle. When we jack this up, we have to make sure the locating bolt goes in the hole in the spring.